Hello guys, welcome to Rook and Glen Park. This is the car park currently. I'm gonna show you more than just a car park. If you get to Rook and Glen Park, you can see there's obviously a park that has lots of climbing things and whatever. Welcome to Rook and Glen Park. This is what it looks like. The wall garden, Glen walks, waterfall. Boating ponds, events. Oh, it's actually got quite a lot of things, and here's just some notice boards, different things. Let's keep walking. They have like a really cool row of trees, which is actually quite nice. It's like a nice clock, and you got a bell up there. Looks like a castle. It's not a castle. Enterprise Scotland. Our mission is to inspire and equip young people, irrespective of background, to learn and develop enterprise and education this is called wildlife garden in here got lots of trees lots of grass and benches what does this bench say on it by the way it's very near Gifnick although I'm not actually sure if it's in Gifnick it's Grook and Glen its own area if you ever wanted to do mindfulness in a nice space like this take a dandelion Blow it. Think about <laughs> things on the clock <sighs> and blow. <sighs> and then you eat it. <laughs> Very lonely play bouncy thing right on its own in the middle of literally nowhere. And then over there is like where its friends are. It's like having a dog and then all the other dogs are over there. And you've got a, I guess, a shelter with no seats, no benches, just a shelter on its own. It's got a lot of things on its own. When you would think that they would be near something in like an abundance of other sheds or picnic benches, but he's just by itself. Going to the Glen Walks Waterfall, which actually sounds really exciting. Now, I hope it's not just going to be like a I, I just like a little drip of water, you know what I mean? Like some places where they say water, like I went on a walk that was near car park in the sky and it was like, it really wasn't an impressive waterfall. It was like, it wasn't even a waterfall. Here, there's more of a woodland kind of area. In Rickon Glen, you've got a wee stream down there. Although this is probably on the way to the to the waterfall and yeah got the fence here so then nobody falls in if you stop for a minute take in the smells you can actually smell the pollen of the flowers or the flowery trees and if you stop for a minute you can hear the birds chirping and lovely flowers like that that's probably what's emitting the smell I think there's also people walk along there as well. A notice board here, which is kind of, kind of messy actually, but <laughs> Glen Walk, there's a wee bit of information for you. We're crossing a bridge here. There's more of the stream down there. And now we're entering more into kind of woodlands that look a bit like where you might find some goblins or something. Gremlins or like the the imaginary bright red mushrooms with white spots. But remember guys, do not eat them. They may look very nice in colouring books, but I would not advise you to eat them in real life. You won't get any magic powers and no goblin will come and sit on it. Lovely pink rhododendrons up there. Which actually look really nice. Well, rhododendrons with nice pink flowers blooming from them. That is cool. Interesting vines on the rocks like Tarzan. You could try and climb them. But I'm guessing with the weight of whoever you are, they would probably break. Bella's Bridge. I guess this is what it's called, Bella's Bridge. So there must have been once a woman called Bella who maybe built this bridge. Or maybe who loved this bridge and decided to claim property on it and climb the property ladder and managed to claim this bridge in court. And it's now called Bella's Bridge because she 
probably fought against in court and managed to to claim it or it could just be she built it or it could just be some guy a long time ago had a wife called Bella and then he called it after his wife who like died or something I don't know this is very nice you see well that's just a part of a waterfall there but that's not the main thing I don't think this is nice to just sit and relax and do a mindfulness thing if you wanted to do that waterfall here you got the bridge you got people standing up there but this is a waterfall ah, it goes down to where I was doing the mindfulness yeah it looks great there's an even better view of the waterfall you might want to drop your phone down there so, what do you think of Rook and Glen Park um, I'm playing the park Huh? Playing in, the park. Playing in the park. Do you think it's nice? Do you think people should come? Yeah, a lot of people should come. Yeah, do you think that it's a place to have a picnic and come in summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the real way that's down there, go down there and get on it. Really? Is that where people drink and all that? Yeah. Right, thank you for your interview. Yeah, Good to see you. Daniel. Right, thank you guys. <laughs> the main big pond. Boating pond. Boating pond, yeah, boating pond in Rook and Glen, where people would get maybe pedalos and boats. Wait, <coughs> they do pedalos here? They used to, years ago. Used to. Okay, they used to do pedalos here, but they don't do that anymore. But you've got some nice ducks and things, and and the lovely islands, islands and things. Yeah. This bird right here is a coot, and the ones with the red beak, who look exactly the same, they're called mere hens. I'm sure they're called mere hens, but that's a coot. I think that's the fem female. No, I think that's the male. Maybe it's the female, can't remember. We've got wee chicks here. They're actually yellow, I'm not even mind. Canada, Canada goose, not the jacket, the actual thing. Cafe there where you can get ice cream, food and all sorts in there. I'm gonna do another dandelion thing. However many times it takes me to blow this dandelion, it is in dandelion time. What time it is in dandelion time. So let's try it. That's two. That's three. I don't really think it's coming off. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that would just go back to one again. Thirteen, and well, I guess in the afternoon. Fourteen. Of skate park over there. People are playing tennis or badminton. Oh yeah, and then we're right back to where we were again. Not sure what that big red building is, but yeah. Can Glen Garden Centre and restaurants. We're gonna go in and have a look. Actually quite big actually. This is what it looks like if you wanna get some nice things for your garden entrance to the plant area this is what it looks like in here just like a big orchard of plants and different things that you can buy quite nice 
This is what the toilet looks like in here. It's nice. You can see up there as well, actually. Yeah, not a bad kept toilet, actually. There's me. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Rick and Glen Park. Please leave a like, please sub to my channel, put the notifications on if you want. Then you'll never be missing our uploads. You'll always be notified when I upload. So, thank you guys for watching. Keep me awesome. And thank you to you guys for letting me interview you. That's my first interview actually on my channel. But thank you guys.